Hello and welcome to the News from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence has announced that the second edition of the summer programme of the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence will be held from August the 31st to September the 5th at the Sapienza University of Rome, Italy. Students from Bahraini and well reputed European universities will take part in the programme, which will enable them to broaden their scope of their knowledge about the historical, cultural and social aspects of religions and study them the perspectives of dialogue and peace, acceptance of the other and mutual respect. The programme is in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to enhance the role of the youth in fostering tolerance and peaceful coexistence by instilling humanitarian values in them. The Ministry of Health continues to organise courses and workshops to train health workers and professionals including doctors, nurses, support services and other specialities working in the Ministry on infection control and prevention from the coronavirus and on treating active cases and preventing the spread of the infection. The courses and workshops aim to guide and train healthcare workers and increase their awareness on infection control standards and policies that must be implemented during patient care and to be prepared and responsive to new cases. The courses also included the making of taking medical smears in order to ensure that the correct and safe methods of sampling are practised and that the results are accurate, in addition to organising a series of lectures on treating active cases in primary and secondary health care. The training course was organised in support of artificial respiration for nurses and doctors in cooperation with the military hospital, in addition to training them on final cleaning and sterilisation of the active cases area and waste management. Awareness was also raised regarding the importance of adhering to wearing personal protective equipment and continuously sterilising health centres and hospitals, in addition to arranging with the civil defence to sterilise health facilities in a complementary manner, according to the risk assessment of infection. The infection control team in all health centres and hospitals also organised awareness lectures on the coronavirus prevention and means of combating it, in addition to inspecting isolation rooms and ensuring that they follow the requirements of isolating active or suspected cases. The Assistant Chief of Public Security for Operations and Training Affairs, Brigadier Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Ministry of Interior has taken all the necessary preparations and arrangements to ensure the safety of citizens and residents during the Eid al Adha holiday through security patrols in various regions of the Kingdom and working to achieve social distancing by taking legal measures to enhance adherence to precautionary measures to reduce the spread of the virus. He noted that during the Eid holiday, security directorates carried out 106 measures to maintain social distancing and 900 violations of not wearing face masks in public were detected and 23 awareness campaigns were organised to enhance awareness and stress the importance of adhering to precautionary measures to stop the spread of the virus. The General Directorate of Port Security continued its role in facilitating procedures for the repatriation of citizens and secured the examination of 840 passengers coming from abroad. The National Ambulance Centre also responded to 52 reports during the Eid al Adha holiday to transfer cases infected with the virus or suspected cases to the hospitals and medical centres. The Minister of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,678 with 341 recoveries and 299 registered new cases and three deaths. The Ministry expressed its sincere condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions and avoiding public spaces when possible.